those services are nationwide and international. They are board certified immigration law specialists. Contact us to schedule a consultation in our South Pasadena office via phone, email, or Skype. And follow us on social media and Yelp. Don't forget to catch our next monthly live show with Aquino and Lowe Law Firm on May 3rd, answering your immigration questions. All right, make sure May 3rd, abangan niyo po kami. We are live again with Aquino and Lowe. And also, I want to let you know that unfortunately, you cannot call us from Hawaii because we are live in Los Angeles. But you can email us at kababayan at la18.tv. Before we take another call, I just want to ask Ali really quickly. I know STEM, um, the people that come here to go to school for science, technology, engineering, and math, I know that they're OPT. Um, which means that they can stay in the country to practice what they studied, has now been extended. Exactly. There was a new rule that came out which allows individuals who have a STEM degree to now get extensions of instead of 17 months, all the way up to 24 months. Wow, so. that's two years. So that's really good news. Exactly. That, and that's on top of the one year that they get originally. Okay, wonderful. Okay, meron po tayong caller dito sa Los Angeles. Kasama natin si Nestor mula sa Long Beach. Nestor, nandyan ka ba? Ayan, ay, nandito ako. Oy, thank you so much for your patience po. Ano po yung tanong ninyo bago po kami magpaalam ngayong araw na ito? Yeah, ang tanong ko kasi ano ako ng US, uh, US veterans, pero hindi ako pinitisyon. Ano, pinitisyon. ano nga siguro yun? Meron ba chance na ma... Okay, um... Pwede niyo po bang ipatay yung TV niyo? Kasi may feedback po, hindi po namin maintindihan. Ano po yung tanong? Ang tanong ko po ay ako ay anak ng U.S. Veterans. Pero okay. namatay na yung U.S. Veterans, hindi kami pinitisyon. Okay, so they are the son uh, of a U.S. Veteran, but they were not petitioned. Is there any possibility for them to gain citizenship or a green card in this country? Well, that's a really tough question uh, without knowing a lot more. Just the fact that they're a son of a veteran in and of itself doesn't give them any path to citizenship. Uh, there would have had to have been a petition or something else going on for them to be able to, to get on their way to that path. Just being the child of a U.S. Cit of a, a, vet a veteran, in this case I'm assuming a World War II veteran, yes. uh, is, is not going to be sufficient. Okay, we have one last caller on the phone ngayong araw na ito mula sa Norwalk. Christy, ano po yung tanong ninyo, pakisabi lang po ng mabilis. Hello, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, may tanong po ako, bali yung anak ko, citizen, uh, US citizen, magkakail siya ng kuwan. Tapos, pag ipetitisyon niya kami, kailangan ba ang uh, bumalik kami sa Pilipinas o mag, pwede kami magstay dito while the petition is going, going okay, on? Okay, are you on a tourist visa at the moment? Oh, uh, wala na po kaming status ngayon, mag-asawa. Okay, so that is the question. Yeah. They are here, their child is a U.S. citizen, they want to be petitioned, do they have to go back to the Philippines even though they're out of status now? Generally, no. So even if you're out of status, as long as you can prove how you lawfully entered the United States, as long as you have that evidence that you legally entered the United States, then generally speaking, speaking, you can go ahead and apply for the adjustment of status here in the United States. You usually do not need to go back to the Philippines in order to do that. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us, Attorney Richard Lowe, Attorney Allison Always a Aquino pleasure. Silva. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat for calling us. Remember, mark your calendars. That's May 3rd. They will be with us and joining us here in the studio live once again. You can call us. Um, and also, what's great about our attorneys is if you you get in touch with them you can be anywhere in the world because they take Skype calls as well and their office is here in Pasadena so they are local if you are in Los Angeles and remember uh, we really have to make sure that our documentation is in order uh, it's so important that we get that squared right away don't you think oh absolutely and it's important that they seek um, uh, legal help from an attorney, um, paralegals and individuals who don't have licenses, those will often just get you into worse trouble. Yeah, I've heard so many countless horror stories about these people that take the money and then they're gone. Yeah. yeah.
you know. Um, and then, of course, Richard, uh, you have always been here to answer all these questions. We want to thank you once again. What is your advice to Kababayans that are watching, that are thinking of, you know, fixing their status? What can you say to them? Well, I think it's always important to be organized, to make sure you have good documents, good documentation. And, and like Ali said, you need to go to somebody who is, uh, knows what they're doing. You don't want to get involved with people who are going to give you a good deal on price and then just make a mess of your papers and, it, and you're going to end up in worse trouble. So. All right. Well, thank you once again for being here. Maraming salamat po mga kababayan. Ang dami pong tumawag ngayong araw na ito. And we always welcome all your calls and all your questions. Of course, Allison Aquino Silva and Attorney Richard Lowe are here to help you with all your immigration questions. Make sure to give them a call. They do take consultations. The number is right there, 888-797-1140. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Ako po si G. Tanji mula sa Los Angeles, California. Bye!